because this is the story that people are going to be talking about today. Your report on this is just remarkable, the way you get into every detail. Jimmy Haslam would apparently have these meetings with Team Brass, and he's eating a hard-boiled egg the entire time, leaving shell casings on the floor. They seem to be dysfunctional just because Jimmy Haslam doesn't seem to know what he's doing. Those owners, who I like to call Jimmy and D from Tennessee, that they didn't know what they were doing, they finally turned it over to an adult in Dorsey, and they're going in the right direction. If they just stay out of the way, that's what happens when you put people from Tennessee in charge of anything. Right. What was the, the final straw for Jackson? Well. I think there was dysfunction in the building. There was a lot of infighting, and it was spilling out into the public. And again, like Jimmy Haslam said, the primary job of a head coach is to be a leader, and I think they felt like he was failing there. You know, Hugh Jackson was told he was fired. He told John Dorsey and Jimmy Haslam to get the F out of his office. I learned that general manager Sashi Brown was nicknamed Obama by Jimmy Haslam, which, you know, offended a lot of the people in the building, even though he didn't mean it that way. Hugh Jackson, when he got fired, he threw the owner and the GM out of his office. I like that from you. <laughs> and I know he said before that in front of the NAACP, the first exposure I ever had to diversity was working in the NFL. Kind of shocking yeah. for a guy like Haslam. But that's not the only thing, right? They broadcast porn once in front of it by accident, <laughs> the, by accident. In, yeah. the, uh, in the building. Apparently there was a market exercise in the building where they wanted to see how the fans felt about the dog pound, hashtag DP. Except it turned out that when you go on Twitter and look up hashtag DP, you get a double entendre of sorts that is actually indescribable on normal uh, FCC regulated airwaves. Yeah, that was a good story. Who gave you that story? Where did it come from? How excited were you when you got that story? Was the feeling inside you as a journalist better than the actual watching of the porn? Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know... Nobody wants Baker to be ruined. Nobody wants it to be Red Right 88, the drive, the fumble, the shot, and Baker Mayfield. Right. And so the question will be is if they made the right call in hiring Freddie Kitchens, and if that allow, and if they stick by him, and it's been something that in Jimmy Haslam's ownership, patience has not been a virtue there. Like the, the Browns, I mean, they were even more of a mess than you think they were. It's a juicy headline, like all of it. The description of the article.